so today I was thinking of painting a netherworld house. I have an idea for it and I think it'll be cute. Something different from the last one, okay? I hope you all enjoy it. See you soon. So I was thinking, let's see. I have brown and blue. The red, greens, white. This is the Deco Art Americana Royal Navy Multi Surface Wicker White Multi Surface Folk Art Brand Ticket. Folk Art Citrus Green Multi-Surface And right here The Coffee Latte The Multi-Surface and Folk Art too. So I was thinking What if we did The Base Blue And the Top Brown Maybe do like some bricks or something on the bottom. Hmm. And then some vines up all around on the base. Some on the roof. And then add some roses to it. What do you guys think of that? I think that'd be really pretty. Okay, let's see what happens. Hope you guys had a good weekend. My family and I, my husband and son, brother-in-law, and his girlfriend went to a morning market in our local area with craft stuff and food trucks, pretty flowers from like local produce markets. It was really nice, and then went to the pier afterwards. We live in Florida and uh, it was just a beautiful weekend out by the water. What did you guys do this weekend? Anything fun? Are we relaxing? Sometimes it's nice just to get outside and enjoy the fresh air, especially after the winter. We don't have it really that cold here, but it's cold to us when it hits in the 40s and <laughs> we put on our boots and our heaviest jackets that we own, which is like a hoodie something like that. Maybe scarves in our closets if we have them. I think I've only owned a couple of scarves. And I'm like, why am I wearing a scarf in Florida? I don't know. I just wanted to feel like it was winter somewhere else, I think. <laughs> I liked it. They were cute. I think they're cute too. Alright, so I was thinking as I was looking at the base, I can add some greenery to there also. Alright, so it's looking good so far. Alright, so on to the roof. We're gonna do, I think, the blue roof. It has some like little shingles to it. Oh, that's a really pretty blue. Oh, I like that. I know it's not like probably normal to have a blue roof, but we are going to 
do something different. Have some fun while I paint a little tiny birdhouse. And switch it up a little bit because art is fun. And that's how it should be. It's fun. Nothing has to be perfect in art. And that's life too, right? And nothing in life is perfect. Yeah, some people might have little roofs. You never know. At least not around here we don't. But I think it'll be fun to try it out and see what happens. I'm just layering the bases right now for it. And this dries really quick in the wood. That's good. I think after the white, I think I'll do the green on the bottom. Oh, I kind of like that little blue in there. I like that. pretty so far. so far. Okay. What should I do next? Hmm. Do you like little burning bricks maybe? before, so we're going to see how this turns out.
this one pretty cute. I don't have a technique for this, I'm just staggering them. Okay, that's pretty cute. I like that so far. Okay, let's see. Add a little something to it on you think a little extra something. So cute.
so far it has already hit two. Going for like a, a wild look for the, the vines. So, let's wait. Little pop of more greenery. I think it's so pretty. After I'm done with the green weasel, add some roses to it. I just love the look of the vines, like, on the walls of the houses that I've seen, or the fences. I think they're so pretty, just the wild, like, and just out all over how they want to go, what they want to do. It's so pretty. I think it's already looking good with the leaves. So odd. So leave up here. More leaves. Right here. I just came with this idea in my head. I thought it was so pretty. With a tall roof like this for the birdhouse, it was just asking for vines. And climbing roses, it was just calling my name, saying, hey, 
come paint me with some vines and little climbing roses because I am super tall and I just need that on here. I don't know. <laughs> it just needed something like this. If you guys have any ideas of what you would do to this birdhouse, let me know in the comments section because that'd be really cool to hear some of your ideas of what you would do with it. Okay. That is really cute. I really like that a lot. Okay, are you guys ready for the roses? I was thinking of doing red roses. What do you guys think? Red? I think we'll try to go with red. of like painting bird houses before. My in-laws gave it to me for a Christmas present and it's really fun. I really like it a lot. You know, I think next time with something small like a birdhouse, you know what I really want to do is get like the small furniture for dollhouses and do a mini furniture flip. I think that'd be really fun to do. I don't know why. I've been watching stuff on YouTube lately. The girls that I follow, like all those miniature things that they see on TikTok. I'm like, you know what? I really want to do a furniture flip with like little furniture, like chairs and table or something. I don't know. I just feel like I really want to do that. <laughs> it looks so much really, really fun. It looks so much fun. I just realized that I'm blending in the white and the red a lot with the, the red and white bricks, huh? That's okay. I still love it. It looks really cool. Just simple roses. Just dotting them to make it look like they're roses. Little rose buds. I just love this so much. It's so cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do like little dollhouse furniture flip stuff. I don't have a dollhouse, but. I can just play around with the furniture, see what happens with it. Because one day I do want to do furniture for, you know, adults <laughs> in their houses. Um, that'd be really fun to do. But for now, I can start off with like little tiny things like the dollhouses. 
Maybe do some fairy stuff for my garden. If I like doing birdhouses, I might like that. I like to try out different things once in a while. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Look at the pretty flowers and the leaves. <gasps> Guys, I love it. Oh my gosh. Wow. That turned out really good. I think... I mean, I just want to add to that too. I can't leave it bare. This is really cute. I think I might be buying more birdhouses in the future. Okay, that is what it needed. Oh my gosh. That is so cute, you guys. You know, last time for the first bird house I made, I added a butterfly. Maybe I should add another butterfly. I think I'll do it right there. Mm -hmm. I'll do a pink one. so much. Okay. Ready for the butterfly? So cute. It's hard to do. I think I have too much water. And my paintbrush. It's fixable. It's okay. And I have black I can use. This is it. It is so cute. It turned out really well, I think. I love... Oh no, I got... No, okay, it was supposed to be there. This part house turned out so cute. Look at the back. I love it so much. Look at the front of it. There's the roof. I might have, like, blended the bricks in with the red roses, but that's okay. It still looks really pretty. I love it. It turned out really good. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!